everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's your girl Ellie and today I'm back with a really exciting Q&A for you all. I keep asking on my Instagram for you guys to ask me questions, um, anything you want and most of them are about being a new, like a new mummish. Um, because you know, I am, I've got a newborn baby, so it's being a mummy all over again. It's my beautiful little princess who is three weeks old, it is going so fast. I'm not going to answer every single question because there's so many and some of them are quite similar so i'm just gonna pick out some to answer for you all baby girl didn't want to be in her swing so i am holding her which is okay isn't it princess she's so wide awake nowadays but yeah so i'm gonna start off with this one and it says is baby girl going to be your last child i've had two minds about this i definitely don't want another child for a good six seven years at least um, I would like these two to be in school full time. I would like to be in a full time job. I would like a lot of things to be different before I go on and have another child. I also want to go to university at some point. So I don't really want to fall pregnant whilst being at university or anything. So I definitely don't want one anytime soon. But I would like another one in the future. Um, just not yet. Um, the next one is why are all your kids so beautiful and I don't know but they are the most beautiful little babies ever. The next question is did you have an epidural? No I did not. If you've watched my birth story I did not have an epidural. Um, my labour was all natural. I didn't have gas and I had no pain relief. I had literally nothing. It was just me and then her dad and that was it like it I had nothing the next question is how is it having to adjust your time between both babies and my ipad has just turned off which is super annoying the question was um how is it adjusting time to both babies um so far it's going okay um me and her we get our time mainly at weekends and stuff when Di or when Diante is at nursery like our bonding time and then me and Diante because she's still so little we just get to do kind of what we used to do before it's just obviously I've got to uh, fit in feeding her changing her sorting her out but when she's older I feel that is when it's going to kick in more and that is when I'm going to like obviously have to actually you know adjust time to both of them but so far it is going really really well um they both love each other like she already loves him like follows him around don't you do you love your big brother and he absolutely loves us so if i've got to feed her he will help me if i've got to change her he will get me her mat like he is so helpful um so it's not been too bad at the moment the next question is how am I getting on after having the baby? I am doing really well, um, actually. There's been times where I have been upset and have felt a bit down, but that is just normal life. But other than that, I've felt really, really good and I'm getting on really, really well. I've got a lot of support around me, which is obviously really, really helpful. Um, so yeah, I'm getting on really, really good. Um, the next one is how is baby during the night um she is doing really well for three weeks old i would say she's doing really well um obviously i'm normally still awake at around 12 p.m um 12 a.m whatever i shouldn't be awake at that time but i am and that is when she will have a bottle and then she will sleep till about it can be between four o'clock to half five and then she will then sleep until around half nine ten o'clock um which is really 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 good so in the night time i would say she's generally good and she does just have a bottle and go back to sleep without any fuss like she doesn't cry she won't sit there and be funny um she will just go straight back to sleep so that is really really helpful um and hopefully she will sleep through like diante did the next one is how was diante when he first met her um he when he came home he was upset because he was really tired he'd been at a nursery he absolutely loved her and then the next day he went to his auntie's house um so he didn't really get to meet her for a long time 
but he absolutely loved her for the time he did meet her and so far touch wood he doesn't get jealous but he hasn't been jealous so far which obviously is really really good um there's been no tantrums um there has been times where he'll want to sit on my knee when she's sitting on my knee but other than that he is fine the next one is do i find it easy um i wouldn't say being a mum is easy um it you know of course has its moments it is hard it's hard maintaining friendships it's hard maintaining your social life and all of that but i wouldn't say then it's hard like it's not hard being a mom i think you've either got it or you haven't um and yeah you've definitely just adjust to being a mom um i wouldn't say it is hard it is difficult at times but not hard all the time every single day like all day every day the next one is is being a mum to two oh here is being a mum to two um how you expected it to be um i didn't really like expect it to be a certain way i was kind of actually scared as to how it would go I didn't know how Dionte would be. I didn't know how the new baby would be. I didn't I didn't get my hopes up about anything because babies and toddlers are so unpredictable. So I just kind of said I'll go with the flow and so far it's been okay. Like I said, it has been difficult at times. Other times it's been absolutely great. Um but yeah, having one baby's hard, having two babies is hard, like no matter what. So yeah definitely i didn't really expect too much but the next one is will you be doing more vlogs um yes i will be doing a lot more vlogs i love vlogging so yeah a lot more vlogs coming up um the next one the next question was do people treat you differently as a young mum um I wouldn't say I get treated differently as I've not got experience in being an older mum but I definitely get get treated different because I am a parent um but I don't I wouldn't put the younger into that um but yeah the next question is how am I finding the change from one child to two as I said it can be difficult but obviously I will get there and it's an everyday thing for the rest of my life so yeah everything will be okay if it's not and i always just look to the positive side of things no matter what um i do get upset you know i have my moments where i am upset i am tired um but it is definitely a lot more tiring because it's not about her being a baby it's about when i've got him changed i've got to get her changed when i've done his bath i've got to do her bath like like things like that it's more time but other than that, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's been too bad at all. The next one is, oh, how did you find giving birth during the lockdown, and how different was it from the first? Um, well, both of my labours were super fast. Um, if you know me or you've watched my channel since I started, you would know Dionte's labour was very fast. Her labour was very fast and her head was out when I was on the toilet trying to have a wee at the hospital. Um, her labour was really fast. I still didn't have no pain relief. I've never had pain relief during any of my labours. Um, even during the pandemic, I wouldn't say the giving birth part was too bad just because I got there and gave birth straight away. I wasn't induced. I didn't have to stay in like before giving birth. I went whilst I was in labour. Um, the staying part afterwards was different because it was like you couldn't go to the breakfast room. You was kind of like, let's say, bed bound most of the time. Um, you literally had to stay in your bed pretty much. Um, if you needed a drink and you didn't have one, they would come bring you one. You were still allowed outside for some fresh air. Um, you didn't have to wear a mask round the ward so that was good but it was definitely different as in you couldn't just get up and go to the breakfast room you couldn't go and make yourself a hot drink they have to do it all for you but other than that everything was normal um they was absolutely amazing the staff were 
the next one was is her dad involved with her yes he is um he absolutely adores his little baby princess um every time like i speak to him if it's on the phone she literally knows his voice like it's crazy the next one is do you have a list of bit names for baby girls if so what were they one day i might actually read my list out but i'm not too sure i'm quite petty with things like that um is being a teen mom as hard as people make it out to be see it's not hard being a mom it's hard watching all your friends and everybody doing what you would like to do um you know a lot of people want to plan having a baby really young like my age and i wouldn't plan on having a child this this young um try live a little bit more try travel do what you've got to do in life before settling down to have a child um personally i'd have liked you know to have my own house all this blah 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 but things happen and you can't help it but it's definitely hard it's harder seeing people do what they want when they want to do it um it's not hard being an actual mom if that makes sense do you get a lot of people from do you get a lot of help from the people around you um or do you have a health visitor to help you care for your kids Every single person, no matter what age you are, has a health visitor. A health visitor weighs your baby, checks on your baby every few months and all of that. So everybody has a health visitor until you are five. Um, as I was saying, everybody has a health visitor until their children are five. Um, they're not always in contact with you up until your child's five, but they are there if you need them, if you have any concerns, but it's not like a doctor worrying concern where you've got to call the doctors or something, um, you can speak to your health visitor. They are just there as like a backup support for you. Um, and yes, I do care for my children. Like nobody else cares for them. Like they're not, they're not under anything um, where they need to be cared by anybody else. So yes. Um, the next question is, did you labour her more time this one or the first time? Um, my contractions were a lot worse this time round, but I don't know, like the actual pushing part, I can't remember. Um, but the, the contractions, hers were definitely worse than Diante's. She bruised my inside stomach and like all my stomach afterwards. Um, he didn't, I was literally fine. I've been told the contractions hurt more than pushing the actual baby out. Is this true? Yes, that is very true um the actual pushing part is not that bad um i wouldn't say it is just literally the contractions that are the worst going um now i need to find some more okay the next one is favorite and least favorite thing about being a teen mom um, my least favourite thing would be, obviously, when you do have them sleepless nights. Um, they are my least favourite thing. And when they are teething, that is the worst part ever. But my favourite thing about being a mom is watching your children grow into the most amazing human beings. Watching them reach their milestones, you know. Just having their memories with them. Like, literally, everything apart from the teething and the sleepless night i love will you move out and get your own place or do you plan on staying with your mom um i do plan on moving out and getting my own place um i'm not gonna say when and i'm not gonna go into detail because if things don't go to plan i don't want to be you know coming on here looking like i'm lying so i'm not even gonna go into detail about that but yes i am going to move out and get my own place um do you want a big family or are you just sticking with your two gorgeous babies and i know that goes on like to the first question but um i do want a big family yes because my family is small so i love a big family um that has always been something that's in my head to have a really big family um definitely and yeah those are all the questions i'm going to be answering um 
I am going to do a recovery video because a lot of these questions are about recovery but I haven't reached six weeks yet so I'm not fully recovered and healed so when I reach the six week mark I will do a whole video on that and I'll get you guys to ask me questions on recovery but for now I'm not going to answer nothing to do with those just because yeah I'm not at the six week mark so I don't want to say I'm fully recovered if I'm not so yes, thank you all so, so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. Ignore the messy background. And I hope to see you in my next video. I love you so, so much. Bye.